Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're attacking us, Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Get that bell notification on so you don't miss out on the next episode of Brockton County in Ontario themed city. And make sure to hit the like button too. The like button helps with the channel a lot. Uh, last episode we started off doing our or a transit revision of the city and uh, we didn't get to everything we needed to do we needed to so that's what we'll be doing today uh, just continuing it so transit review part two uh, but we'll also be doing a couple other fixes along the way uh, at the beginning well <laughs> and uh, if there's time at the end which you know we never never really know if there is or not uh, but uh, we'll just kind of fill in some residential zoning or something like that so n nothing major because the the focus of today's episode is going to be uh, continuing the transit revision and we're going to be looking primarily at things that we haven't built up in a while to be honest so uh, there we go so we're out at uh, the cruise ship harbor where we have a lot of our transit going on and uh, yeah so it's looking pretty good so let's start off with a couple of suggestions in the comments that aren't exactly transit related but kind of I guess in a way uh, like transit as in like mass transit uh, but I mean, biking kind of is. So that's what we're going to be starting off with. We're going to be turning uh, the main path through the park, all the way over there, uh, into a pedestrian and bike path. Uh, that was a great suggestion by JMWZ in the comments, so thank you very much. Uh, so we're going to go into this path. We're going to use the one uh, that's decorated. So it's a decorated path for pedestrians and bikers with lights and trees. So I'm going to take it down to here. So pretty much what we're going to do is we're just going to upgrade that. Now, unfortunately, <coughs> ooh, okay, sorry about that. Uh, these um, these paths don't uh, force the terrain, so they do kind of uh, go with the terrain a little bit. So there might be some bumps and stuff, but uh, maybe I can find one on the workshop that's going to be a bit tighter. But other than that, I think it's going to work out really well. It's going to work out really well for uh, the city as well. So what I'll do, though, is I'm not going to change every single one of them, just uh, just the main ones. Uh, this one connects up to a region with bike paths, so I think I actually will change this one up to all bike paths. Uh, and just to kind of go with that, let's grab our bike roads. So it's over here in bikes. Uh, here we are. And then I'm just going to turn this one because this actually connects underneath here. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just upgrade these roads. And then now we have a nice bike connection into the city. Uh, people can still use this. I don't see anyone using it yet, but that's okay. All right, so let's uh, continue along with this. Should we connect it down into here too? Should everything just be a pedestrian bike path? Hmm. I mean, that it does kind of look a bit silly otherwise, right? So why don't we? Why don't we do that? We'll just kind of upgrade everything. Uh, this way, we'll be encouraging biking for the city. And that's awesome to see, right? Plus, now that... I mean, we do see this kind of bumpiness, unfortunately. So we can try to fix that with Move It, but... Uh, it doesn't always work out the way you want it to. So, you know, I think we'll just kind of leave some things to the imagination a little bit. All right, and then let's try and just upgrade the rest of it. So we'll continue along here. And we already connected up there. I think we'll just connect this one up to be a pedestrian and bike path too then. Yeah, and then there's a bike path right there. All right, and then we'll connect down to here. So this large park was built on Wednesday's episode, I believe. Uh, and I really appreciate all the positive feedback, everyone. I'm glad you all liked the, this park. It's a good uh, transition zone as well, which I really like. Um, all right, so we'll just continue here and we'll connect it underneath this bridge as well. All right, and I'm using the one with uh, trees because we're just going to be kind of uh, adding to uh, the amount of trees that already exist in this area, which I really, I really like. Plus, I like how just this part right here is kind of open, so perhaps people can come with their picnics and they can hang out in the sun or they can find a cool spot to hang out otherwise uh, maybe we'll leave this all as walking path instead and I'll just transition it down here 
because I really like uh, this little area here. It kind of works really well with uh, this, but uh, maybe not. Let's let's see how it go how it goes, because you know in reality it's all the same. Uh, but this also includes bikes, right? So any uh, any use, any way to use that uh, uh, form of transport is good for me. Yeah, see, this, there is some wonkiness, so unfortunately, but that's okay. Uh, I think it. I think it all looks good. It all looks pretty much the same, anyways. So, uh, oh, we missed a path. Uh -huh. There we go. Okay, I'll just go back. Go back over and make sure everything is okay because there's there's that clipping right there. So I think people can still use it. Yeah. Okay. That's good. All right. So that was the first uh, thing we're gonna do. The second thing we're gonna do is we're going to go all the way over to the zoo where we're gonna add in a cool little cable car system that's gonna go over top. So uh, the, I was thinking about how we're gonna do this and I think how we're gonna do it is we are going to, this is also gonna kind of transition us into uh, our next uh, uh, item on the agenda as well. So we have two of these parking lots. I think I'm gonna leave this one and we're gonna delete this one. And we're gonna kind of have a bit of a transit hub out over here with uh, with this. So. Let's pause the game and then delete this. And then we're just gonna spam click through here. So you don't wanna miss one of these because otherwise you're glitching out the game. Uh, and then we will uh, just take out this concrete. Yeah, we'll just get rid of it all. Okay, I think we can add it back in there. Um, all right, so we got Harris Street here, which kind of loops around. That's pretty good, but I think we are going to connect in twice here uh, to this road as well. So I think what we'll do is we'll select the road with uh, the grass here. We're going to upgrade this one. Whoops, I forgot that was one way. All right, well, we don't want it to be one way. And we'll upgrade this one all the way to there as well. Uh, all right, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, grab it from here. I think we might as well get that connection this side. Yeah, or should it be? Mm, let's start off with this. Okay, we're just going to do that. And I guess, sorry, I'm just trying to kind of rethinking my, uh, my original plan here. Hmm, okay, let's actually not get any road connection in here. Uh, instead, what we'll do is we'll just get a basic road. And we'll bring it out about here. We'll line it up with this. Oh, a little bit of an auto save at the same time as that. Line it up like something like this. And don't worry, I'll delete this zoning right now. All right, and then let's grab our cable car, which is over here. We're gonna go with the end stop right here, and we're going to pretty much just do that. I'm gonna move it over a bit closer, like so. And then I think what we'll be able to do over here is just to continue it out a bit farther. Uh, maybe we do just use the bus rows instead. Sorry, I never really remember where all the bus roads are because it, this doesn't look like it's all of them. This one. Well, I mean, it's not really the best. Maybe it's in the bus tab. Really, like just like a plain bus road. But maybe I'm thinking of network network extensions too. And that doesn't really exist anymore. So two lane, one way. No. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll stop. Uh, I'll stop looking for all this stuff. Maybe uh, maybe this will kind of replicate it in a way. Oh, that's pretty nice. Uh, anyways, I'll just delete this and we'll figure it out uh, afterwards because we really just are looking to do this for at the moment. But I'll re-upgrade that to there. And then we want a pedestrian path. So we'll just go for the basic one because we're looking for just basically a pure connection here. And then I'll love to connect down here as well. So pretty much what we've done is we've kind of created two parallel or uh, 
multiple connections here. Uh, but... I mean, it's kind of working out. I'll do that. Swing this out. There we go. So it's a, it's a bit funky, but people are going to be able to use it. And then now we'll be able to get a cable car out of here. But I'll I'll kind of stop looking at this for the moment, and I'll go look at where we're going to get the end station. Uh, because pretty much what this is is just going to be for people to use to kind of view the zoo. But like, say they buy a ticket and they'll just have to come out of the zoo to actually access it because putting it inside the zoo would be a bit more challenging to the point where I might have to delete stuff in the zoo and I'm not really looking to do that at the moment so we're going to kind of get it to weave right through it but I was thinking about where this would kind of end up and I think the only other place option it would be would be to be right here by the uh, the side gates so we're going to move this uh, clinic to down here I think that's probably fine anyways uh, and then we'll get the end station right along here. I'm going to use move it to just grab it. And we're going to kind of make it seem like it's a part of the same side gate. I'm going to line up the parking lots. Nice. And then I'll just grab this and we'll rotate it. Okay, there we go. I think we'll just have to delete these trees. That one's fine. I know it's not. <laughs> uh, all right, so we got that in place. So now. They could take the nice little scenic cable car ride, and now let's kind of continue. Let's let's uh, let's do that. So I'm going to turn Anarchy off for now. Um, I haven't done cable cars in forever. Actually, let's turn Anarchy on. <laughs> um, so let's uh, let's kind of. I guess we're going to need to turn our guidelines off too. So we'll have a bit of a slope here coming out. I think that's probably going to be fine. Then we're going to come right across. I don't know really how far we can go on one cable car. Let's go there. And how about we go right over top of the cafe? That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Just like that, right by the lions. And then we'll come right over here. Oh, it looks like we're missing a post here. So let's try and just move it. Let's undo that. Yeah, it looks like it's working. Whoopsies, I lost my place. There we are. Okay, so then we're going to do something like this. Out to see the elephants. I wonder if this would be okay to do. Because it would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Nah, no. Nah. Let's, uh, let's, let's actually... It's probably going to be a bit dangerous, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right, so then we'll swing out to here. And it looks like we're having trouble turning around. So I might have to rethink the shape here. Like I said, it's been a very long time since I've done cable cars. Um, All right, so let's try and just go as far of a turn as we can on each one. There we go. Oh, lost that one. Okay, well, I'll just place this one down. And we'll try to use it with, use move it to fix it. There we go, seems like it worked. All right, so we're gonna swing out over there and then uh, we'll come right across this way. Down to here and over. And in. All right. So let's let's play it on three speed, and I think we should be seeing some cable cars just start going through. But I'm not too sure how it really works, to be honest. Oh, here we go. Okay. So we got a nice, cool, uh, cool view here of the zoo. So let's move my mouse out of the way. Yeah, I mean, this is this is a great suggestion. I mean, it'd be really cool to to view the zoo like this, and I'm sure it'd be going much slower. But I'm going at three speed right now because uh, we are kind of doing some other stuff today too. But yeah, I mean, this would—I don't know if I can really look around. So I guess you can just have to use your imagination. Yeah, it'd be pretty amazing. Maybe it's like an extra couple dollars on your ticket, and you can 
take the ride whenever you want during the day. Pretty nice. All right, so we're almost at the end here. We won't go the other way. Maybe at the end of the of the episode we will. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Okay, so uh, we got that in place. Uh, let's. Whoa, what the heck? All right, there we go. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, let's grab our one new roads, and what we're gonna do here is we are going to build a bit of a bus terminus. So we're gonna turn our guidelines back on. Uh, we're gonna go two lanes one way. We're gonna come out like that, and then we will go one lane, one one lane, one way, and we'll just kind of connect up like so. And I guess we should be fine there, but maybe I'll just extend this uh, out ever so slightly to kind of just increase the node size a little bit. Um, and then I guess it's fine with grass there, but pretty much what we're doing here is just for buses to be able to uh, to use this this road to, to kind of park along. So they'll, they'll come up through here. Uh, and we pretty much just need this to be two-way because I'm going to kind of ban cars from using this. Well, cars shouldn't be using it anyways, but uh, we'll just do that and then... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't want to do that. Did I accidentally clear traffic? Oh, I hope not. This is what I was looking for. Okay, there we go. So <laughs> I'll ban private vehicles on there. I don't really care about everything else, but uh, pretty much we'll make this a bus terminus regardless. And then buses will come up this one, and then they'll kind of get in their lane over here. Uh, but maybe what we do is we just increase this to being an asymmetrical road. Because technically, people will still need to come out this way. Uh, but now, there's multiple ways to go. So, yeah, I think this will work out. And then maybe what we do is we just make this bit of a four lane road over here. All right, and then we'll pull up some TMPE. We'll do that. And then that. Yeah, there we go. And then we don't need a light here uh, either. So, oops. Holy cow, there we go. Uh, yield, 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 yield. All right, so we don't really know what we're building it this way yet. If anything, I mean, who knows? At some point, we're going to have to realize that we're at the end of the city. Um, all right, so now we're going to go into buses now. This is going to be kind of the heart of the episode. We're going to take a small diversion later on uh, away from buses, but that's fine. Uh, buses, buses, buses. Let's open this up. I forgot to put this on for you guys. Uh, okay, we're going to grab this, and then we're going to move this one over to here, and then we're going to move this one over to here. And this way... Buses are still really close by, but people, they're not going to go over. Ah, we see the, the mass ex exodus. <laughs> but uh, now they're not going to clog up traffic and have a bunch of people waiting right here for the stops anyways. Um, and uh, now theoretically, the way this works is people come in over here, they turn around, they can drop their family off, and then the dad or the mom can go park the car, uh, or maybe it's just a kiss and ride all together. Uh, so it should work out. And I mean, this is a big enough parking lot, I think, especially with all this awesome transit we're going to have. Uh, but while we're here, let's take a look at these two bus lines. So the biofuel bus for the Riverside Zoo Express, there's seven vehicles on it. Probably don't need seven. So let's duck it down to six. Even that's a bit too much, but it's just that there's a, a long distance between the lines. So uh, why don't we actually just take a peek at that line? So it's the yellow one, so it's, it kind of loops around over here, uh, goes along the roundabout, and then ducks in over this way. So it's actually not that long, but uh, it does seem like people are using it, at least in Riverside even. Uh, and the green one, which we need to access, so let's check it out. Uh, lots of people waiting right here. And why don't we uh, look at this mod then? So this is where people are going from the zoo down into the city, pretty much everywhere. So it's a good idea to get them on connections uh, that take them everywhere in the city. So this bus is taking them 
uh, pretty much just doing a loop here, eh? Okay, well, I think I would really like it if uh, we can move. Is there a stop here? Oh, it's, it's going this way first. Okay, so it's going pretty much dropping them off right at the front of the subway station. It's coming along here, dropping them off along this, uh, this bus line, the black line here. But what I'm thinking instead is we grab our bus line here. We're going to try to grab the black line. We're going to move a stop right here. Keep, we'll keep a stop there anyways. Uh, and then I want to grab the green line. And we're going to get a stop there. But the green line, whoops. Let's try to grab it. Where is it? Okay, this sometimes gets really annoying, doesn't it? Okay, let's uh, click, drag, add a stop. Uh, I'm gonna add a stop onto this uh, right about here. Okay, and you'll see my madness, my method to, to my madness in a second. Oh, holy cow. Okay, I'll move that stop there. Grab that. Okay, we'll have to move this one too briefly. Delete that. I probably should have done this a different way, shouldn't have I? Oh, it's too late now. I've committed. Okay, so I'll have to move those stops back. Alright, so then the green line swings by here. It goes uh, this way. So you can transfer right here uh, with the university line, which would be useful. And then we're going to add another stop right there this for symmetry and then it will hop uh, how about we could just get it to follow this line and or this this road here so let's bring it down one more pretty close to these walking paths uh, and then we'll get another connection to this black line I guess Actually, be, I'll, I won't touch that one yet and then it heads back okay so uh, that's really convenient for people going in this direction because then they can head down on the university line and then they can also transfer over here uh, but it's almost worth getting a tertiary bus line out of here bringing it down to here wouldn't it or at least to uh to over here wouldn't it so how about we could either since this is like a zoo express i could get it to uh, instead, oh my gosh, I sometimes I hate sharing bus lines. Okay, we'll delete that stop, move it over here. Uh, instead, we can get it to kind of duck around here. It can come right down this way. Share this bus line momentarily. It can, people can then transfer over here to all the trams and then it heads back so it does a bit of a dipsy doodle through the neighborhoods but it gets people to main transit right and that's what matters uh, and then we'll hop back over here we'll get a stop uh, out over this way just for funsies and then it'll swing all the way back all right so we don't even really need a tertiary bus then um, and we'll delete that so that mod is the commuter destinations mod and I'll probably have that in the description if I remember. Um, oh, and then did we increase the amount of people on this line now? Or the amount of buses? Uh, yeah, we definitely need to. So why don't we increase it to 15? And we'll see if that does it does enough. We're probably going to be overused now in other areas. So yeah, we got that in place. That is fantastic to see. And now let's hop over to the next item on my list, which we're kind of running out of time. Holy cow. Uh, hot air balloon tours. Uh, of the waterfront. That was a great suggestion by David in the comments, and I really enjoy that. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to run a bit of a road over here. This is our municipal service station for our trams and our our subways. Uh, so we're pretty much just going to run a basic road uh, right beside this old farmhouse that the city bought. And we're going to run hot air balloon tours out of it. Uh, this is going to be the start of our, uh, what is it, uh, tourist transport, really. Uh, and can I choose where they're going? Or do they just go wherever they please? 
I can't remember the last time I uh, used this, to be honest. How does this work? Do I not create a line? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Hot Air Balloon Tours service stores and maintains hot air balloons and organizes hot air balloon tours over the city. Uh, tours with high uh, appeal value around the starting points are more popular. So they need to be... What? Oh, maybe I was thinking of blimps that you can kind of direct. So hot air balloons are just going to float everywhere? I mean, that's okay with me. Uh, that's pretty cool, but perhaps we can get another one a bit closer or in a different part of the city and then maybe we can, they can start like floating around a bit and sharing some cool spaces. How about in the farm area we can get another hot air balloon tour? And then we'll have some hot air balloons floating around the city. I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, but we'll, we will use the blimps instead. So uh, I am going to move the blimp depot. Blimp stop. Okay, so the blimp stops where they go, but the blimp depot is where they leave. So I don't want to get helicopters yet, but uh, we'll get the blimp depot out here temporarily. Uh, but I will move it when we build our airport out that way. Um, okay, so blimp depot. Oh, look at that. Perfect. So that's the blimp depot. Uh, now let's get the blimp uh, pathway and let's put it on freeform. And what we're going to do is it's going to swing out over here and then over the bluffs. Then it's going to fly right along the waterfront. like that and then I wanted to get a couple stops in but pretty much this is more for the looks it's not really for the service so I think I'll get a stop out over here too I wonder if I just really glitched it out by doing that uh, yeah Okay, and then we'll just get the blunt path. Like I said, this is I'm primarily just using this for the the, the, the look of having the blimps go all, all over the place over here. Uh, they aren't going to be used as a transit service. So we're going to connect uh, down here onto this collector, just bringing it out like so. And this is again going to be a temporary spot until we get our airport uh, connected. Uh, and then we will connect our blimp stop over here. All right, and we're gonna run some water as well because it's definitely gonna need water. Down to the collector over here, connect in. And then we also need water out over here, didn't we? All right, and we're gonna go back the way we came. We're gonna find our blimp line over here. We're going to connect out like this and in. All right, now we're gonna get a blimp line. We're gonna get this to swing all the way over here and back. I mean, I doubt people are gonna use this. I would be very surprised if people did, uh, but uh, let's check out our blimp uh, line. So one vehicle is all we need, right? We don't need four. Uh, one vehicle. All right, and then let's actually just get a pedestrian path. Get a dirt path. And it's just going to go from about here over, and then we're just going to uh, swing it out like that. Get a freeform connection just to this intersection. So theoretically, people could use it, but that's fine. All right, so uh, that's actually a great little destination here because I was looking for a spot over here to end something, and we are going to run. Actually, never mind. That's not going to work in the, the way I was thinking of. And you don't know what I'm talking about yet because I haven't said it. We're going to run a bus line that goes along the collector. So it's not going to go along the expressway. It's going to go along the collector. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect it up into this bus system. So I think we'll connect it over here. Uh, so we'll get it to stop right out in front of the subway. 
our, our metro line. It's gonna swing uh, down here. It'll get another stop over this way. And then, yeah, I guess, no, no, no. It probably wouldn't go through the residential area like that. Um, so that means it would probably, okay, never mind. Uh, we'll swing it around, it'll take two sharp rights, and then I'll hop along and left over here, so we'll get it to stop right here. And then we're gonna need it to go underneath this collector. Now this might not be the prettiest uh, little build here, but that's fine. It's more about the service that it's providing, right? So it's gonna stop underneath here, close to this park pathway. It's gonna follow it along. We'll get another one right here. And I'm gonna need to do more stops than expected. And that is because uh, we need it to make sure that we stay along this area. And I know this is a good transfer point here, but we're going to have to move it down a bit farther. Uh, but I don't want it to hop up on the express line, uh, which is going to be a bit tricky to do. So I noticed that pillar there. I'm, I'm going to try to remember to come back and delete it. Uh, but we're going to hop down over there. And then I think we need another connection here. So I'm going to... I'm trying my best to show you guys where I'm collect clicking it in and stuff like that, but it is a bit difficult. Uh, okay, I think we're still good. Yeah, we're not hopping up on the express. Okay. And then we have another stop opportunity right here at that pillar. Nice. Um, and then we're going to hop over here and we'll get another stop right here. And then we're going to go all the way over here to the uh, amusement park. Then we're gonna go back. So I think we had to stop underneath this section. Yeah, we did. So now I need to actually get it to connect over there. Yeah, not the prettiest little build here, our uh, bus line, but that's fine. I don't think I'm even gonna really change the color because we're never gonna see it. Okay, there we go. So I'm adding the stop over here. And we're gonna follow it along. Two over here. There we go. I don't think it hopped up on the expressway, which is nice. And then the next one is over here somewhere. Did it hop up? No, we're good. Uh, all right. And then we need another one right over here. Sorry, we'll just move it down over this way. Uh, and then right here. And then it's going to swing up this way. Sorry for all the quick movements, but it's kind of tough not doing that otherwise. Uh, we'll get a stop over this way. Uh, we'll get a connection stop right here. Actually, no, it has to go over here, doesn't it? Okay, I'm gonna back that up right there and we'll get a stop there so that it, you can connect to the yellow line if you want going that way. Uh, but I guess it's really the same thing anyways. Uh, all right, so let's go name that bus line. So that should be bus line, like a bus line 26 or something like that. Yeah, there it is. And this is going to be the under expressway line. And how many buses? Is, oh, I didn't name it. Expressway line. Uh, all right. Enter. There we go. 13 buses. That's actually not too bad. I, I think we'll leave it at that. It's gonna be a pretty big service, maybe maybe down to, to 12. And I'll just leave it at this, as the basic color because we're never really gonna see it. Um, all right, so, uh, whoa, why is that up? Yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna be using this blimp line, but let's see if anyone has. No one, all right, that's fine. Uh, but it does look cool, right? I mean, the blimp looks awesome. And where are those hot air balloons? <laughs> They're all the way over here. Pretty cool. Sure do add a lot to the city. Uh, maybe we can get a couple more then. Um, they're over here. Let's see, should there be blimps uh, <laughs> stopping Riverside over this way? I mean, not really worth it, but maybe we can get it over here by the zoo. That could be nice. Get it right here. They just kind of add some je ne sais quoi to the, the build, right? Uh, I think probably three is enough. Because these ones are going to collide, it looks like. 
Dun 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 dun. Are they gonna collide? Yep. <laughs> Major air accident over Wood Garden, which is a park we haven't detailed yet. Uh, five star park that we haven't detailed yet. Um, all right, so uh, those were all like the, the main things I, I wanted to add from from the comments and uh, and some tweaks. But there are many more revisions that we can make to this uh, to all these lines. So let's just take a quick overview of everything. Oh, this is tourism. I'm looking for transit. Uh, and a lot of that's going to be new bus lines and revised bus lines. So I, I think we're going to start with a revision. Uh, no, no, no. Let's start with uh, new bus lines. So I'm looking in, in this area. There's lots of space that kind of is just kind of cut off. Uh, lots of space through here. So I think we need a couple more bus lines through this way. And I think a major connection point we're going to need is to connect this ferry system to a bus. So we're going to grab here. I know we haven't really done the ferries yet, but uh, that's fine. So we'll get the bus stop to stop there. It's going to swing down here. I was thinking about bringing it up this road, uh, but in a way, it's probably better if we bring it up over here because uh, this way, which is an elevated road, which could be useful uh, with these connections here, but there's really a lack of transit options over this way. Plus, we can bring it along this side road here as well for the residents. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to click it in here. We're going to click another stop in here. And then another one uh, about there, which is pretty much close enough to uh, these pathways here. So then it's going to swing up here. It's going to have an opportunity to connect with other bus uh, lines in the area and transit options. And then it's going to swing up along this bike uh, line. And we do have a bus line that continues up here. So what I'll do is I'll get a stop right here and then it can transfer. And then we'll take a hard left if we can. Oh, no, we have to connect over this way. That's fine. We'll take a right along Quebec Street. Uh, and then we'll just kind of loop around, I guess. So that's the way it wants us to go. But what if we get another stop over here? And then we can get another stop right through here and then down. Yeah, I mean, that works. Get another transfer point and then swing back down. And we'll just kind of follow ourselves. But this time, I think we'll pass on this one and we'll go down White Street here instead. There we go. And then we'll swing up along Reed Street. And we'll connect over here. Okay, so that's a pretty good connection line. Uh, let's find the line that's probably gonna be like bus line 27 or something like that. There it is. And this is gonna be a ferry downtown connection or something. Ferry downtown connection. Uh, there's four vehicles on at the moment, eight. Uh, yeah, I think, I think eight's probably good. Um, let's change the color to like a, a light purple, I guess. I don't know. Looks like people are already queuing up, so maybe 10. That is a pretty long line. And then when the ferries start coming through here, which we haven't done yet, which we're not gonna do today. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's pretty pretty useful line. Um, and then the trams are pretty much the main connections through this area, and then it connects to a bus line over here next to a bus line going up this way, and then another tram option going up north. Uh, but we, yeah, we're pretty much covered over this way too. Uh, we got a solid bus connection this way, but we don't really have the best bus connection over here, which maybe we could eventually get a, a bus out over here. I mean, maybe like a, some workers would probably need a bus to swing out this way. But we do have potential for tram. I think we'll leave any future bus connections over this way. Uh, but let's take a peek over here. I mean, we do have a nice collector bus over this way now, too. Why don't we take a peek at how that bus is doing? Wow, it's actually being very used. I still think the things are, uh, the buses are declogging a little bit. But why don't we up it to 15? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty useful. Okay, let's hop back in this view. 
any uh, other areas that are kind of missing on some some good bus connections uh i mean we are kind of a little bit over here but i guess the trams are supporting it um all right so sorry i'm just kind of looking at it myself let's swing all the way out over here and let's take a look at these bus lines whoops i probably shouldn't have left that that view all right so we got this orange bus right here which wow there's a lot of people using it okay so we need to almost double the amount of buses up here that's fine uh, okay and then where was that next bus over here so it's the light blue bus that's straight over this way six buses uh, it's actually being pretty used too six is probably good I'll think I'll add another bus though let's bring it up to, to eight we'll bump it yeah oh let's just try to get it just below that there we go uh, and this bus line goes all the way out over here to these suburbs uh, just to increase the service and then it goes through the downtown as well it's pretty good and it connects to the train system which I um, mean we do have some inner city trains I, I we are allowing inner city trains on this uh, station uh, which has been really useful and diverting some traffic away from uh, from Union Station but let's take a look at uh, this train line Wow that's actually way more used than I thought it was being used so I think we could add another train I think just one though is probably fine so let's see a lot of people are getting off some people have missed out on that train though interesting you know some passenger trains are clogging up because there's always some weird stuff happening with this uh, with this line anyways we're not dealing with trains today because uh, it can always become a mess um, yep like uh, like right now so uh, looks like we might have to delete a train because I think probably one just spawned and then it kind of glitched everything out so hopefully we'll need to sync it up again but uh, there shouldn't be any past uh, inner city trains coming through here so that's good Um, all right, so we'll kind of just take another peek over here. Yeah, so they just spawned out of here. So hopefully they're they've kind of declogged a little bit. But let's uh, let's just go through the trams now. So we are running out of time. Uh, the university line. We'll start at the top. Uh, let's see how many people are really waiting for this these trams. That's pretty good. I th I think we'll leave it. If anything, I can take a tram off of it. So we'll go down to 13 trams. Yeah, it's, we could probably do a bit more uh, refining, but I think we'll leave it at that. Tram line six. Uh, I don't I guess we didn't name this tram line. Uh, can definitely be cut. Yeah, I think this tram this tram line will be overused in the future uh, as we develop this area. But at the moment, we'll leave it. Okay. Now we're at the Queen Street line. Okay, we can definitely take some trains off of the Queen Street line now. I'm sure the subway has really helped in this in this regard. The Queen Street line used to be our primary tram line. So we're probably good there now. Waterfront North line. Uh, 15 trains. And majority of them are being used. So I think we can actually bump it down to like 13. But um, yeah, it's pretty good. I think maybe I'll continue this on into next episode. But I'll be titling it something different. Like uh, something about tourism, perhaps. And we'll look at the commuter destination mod even farther in that episode. Um, all right, so we got the waterfront line. Uh, yeah, it looks like we can probably take a tram off of it. But I'll, I know that those really fluctuate, though. Um, okay, so we do have some people waiting. I think this is probably good. Yeah, I think we'll leave this one. Uh, the downtown line, which is the yellow line that runs east-west across the city. If you can kind of see it. Sorry, I wasn't really showing them earlier. This one also fluctuates a lot, but I think we can knock one off. Uh, Electric Avenue line. Now, this one is heavily used. 
from what I remember. Yeah, I think it's pretty well balanced looking at the trams. Uh, down over here, it's a bit less used. We could probably knock a couple off. Let's go down to 15. Uh, and then the amusement, water, amusement park waterfront line uh, is also being pretty well used. Could probably knock one off though. All right, now we've done that. Let's take a look at the subways. So the north-south line runs north-south across the city, down to the waterfront, right across. It has seven trains on it. I'm tempted to knock one off. Yeah, I think I think we'll be good with that. Uh, the east-west line has two. I'm tempted to add one because it doesn't look like it really needs it, but there's lots of people waiting at the stops. Yeah, let's, let's add a tram. There we go. All right, uh, we've already revised the train itself, and it looks like more people are still using it. Uh, let's see where they are going. Everywhere in the city. So people are getting off here to go in the city, people are getting off at Union to go into the city. So it looks like Strathcona is a pretty nice place to live, so perhaps what we could do is start looking at expanding Strathcona down this way soon. I'll see if we're getting some clogging over here. Yes, it looks like we are, but the trains are seeming to understand what they're doing. So I guess we'll leave it for now. Um, Alright, and uh, we don't really have anything with those. Uh, let's just look at some buses now. So the ferry downtown connection, that was a new one in today's episode. Uh, wow, it is being heavily used. Okay, let's bump it up. Bump it up to 17. I mean, that's probably right. Holy moly, that's gonna... This, this train, or this bus line was a good idea, I guess, because it's connecting the orange line uh, with the subway over here-ish, kind of. Uh, with these green buses. I guess we could almost add in a stop right here, too. I guess we don't really need it coming this way. But now people can run into Union Park here. So they stop right here. They can run into Union Park and get into Union Station that way. That's pretty convenient. There's a pathway there, right? Yeah, there is. Nice, okay. That is good to see. Oops. Um, all right, so that was the first one, Waterfront Industry Connection. Uh, this was uh, down here, and it connects up into Batherson Park. It's a bit tricky to see uh, because of this, but holy cow, people are using this stop a lot to go pretty much everywhere in the city, and that makes sense because they're connecting to pretty main thoroughfares. Uh, all right, so uh, let's just increase that. So it is five right now. So I think we can probably get up to eight, and even that is probably not enough. Uh, Riverside Oil Line. So that's all the way to the north of the city. This is pretty much just connects uh, the tram system to the oil uh, industry. Uh, it has eight vehicles on it, and it's not being that used. So we could probably knock some off. So why don't we go down to six? All right, the downtown loop one. Uh, so this is mirrored, I believe. And yeah, it's pretty well balanced, but looks like it clogs up downtown. So we could probably add maybe 14 on, onto there. Uh, downtown loop two. Whoa. No way. That is, that's madness. 450 people waiting. Okay, well that tells me that there needs to be a better system through here. Holy cow, that's crazy. So perhaps what we need to do then is get people to this tram line because they're all seeming to go north. But there really isn't a tram going this way, so why don't we think about getting next episode because we've run out of time now. What if we get a tram that connects down into here? Uh, 
Yeah, I guess what we could do is we could connect it like this and loop around. And it goes north, so we'll take out the purple line that we just made, and we'll go right up into here and loop around. That could be rather useful, but that would mean that would mean that we would either need to go underneath here. Oh, that's actually a great idea. Okay. Yeah. I like that idea. I'm not going to see any comments about this video beforehand, uh, before I record the next one, but I think that's a great tram line to have in the city because it connects with so many tram lines. And then we can connect right into here or maybe even go underneath the ground and connect it into here and then just continue it on. Oh, I love that idea. Okay, so I'll do that next episode. So I guess it's Transfer Vision Part 3 in a way because we're not even done looking at all our bus lines. Uh, Shrethkona, Maine. Uh, wow, okay. Uh, probably used with 12. Oh, I think we just looked at that one too, which is crazy. Oh no. Sorry, people. They're all running away. Sorry about that. Um, all right, so I think we already looked at Shrethkona, Maine though. Uh, we're going to buses here. Bathurston Loop. I think it was Downtown Loop 2 is what we were looking at when it was crazy. So let's just bump it up to like 16 for now. Maybe 18. 19, okay, I guess. Um, Alright, so I think it was after Downtown Loop 1 is when we transitioned to Downtown Loop 2. Uh, this one is probably good. There's lots of stops. 5, I think that's probably fine. Uh, lines Overview. Uh, do we just look at Bathurston Loop? Uh, Lakeside, East West Metro End Station. So this one just connects into here and then connects up with this train station up this way. So not heavily used. Let's go down to three vehicles. It's just a temporary connection until we figure out what we're doing in that area anyways. Uh, West Riverside. So this is just a residential bus that has lots of People going over this way, which are swinging, the, swinging all the way down here. So it looks like the bus is actually working then, uh, the way it's supposed to. Uh, whoops, I should, probably shouldn't have deleted that. We're West Riverside, eight buses. Connects with the trams. Uh, looks like we could probably go with adding 10 on here. Uh, Packerhampton Farm Line. Lots of people using it. Over here, people are trying to get where? Downtown. Makes sense. Okay. So let's uh, get back to that. Packenhampton Farm. Let's add in a couple more. There's four vehicles. Bump it up to six, and that's probably not enough, too. So seven. Uh, Lake University Line. This is just a straight connection between uh, the university and the lake over this way. And it connects with much more transit than it used to, so I think we'll have to bump it up. This is like a pretty good shuttle. Uh, I think like this is going to be like a lot of trams and buses on this line, so I think we'll have to leave it at that, like for the distance that it actually takes up. Uh, amusement park waterfront line. This is a shuttle from the amusement park down to the ferries. Um, but it also connects with a bunch of other lines now too. Interesting. Okay, well, uh, let's get back to that. It's right here. Uh, let's just add in a couple more. We'll go up to eight. That's probably not enough, though. Uh, but that's fine for now, at least. Uh, Lake Loop. Oh, under expressway line. Let's see how that's doing now. Uh, lots of tr lots of options. We could probably knock it down a bit. Let's just go to thirteen. Uh, okay, Lake Loop 2. This is good. This goes around the lake and it connects with the trams or the, the, the train line. Uh, it's probably good speaking as how far a distance it is. Uh, Forestry, Forestry Express line. This is an express bus from uh, Strathcona all the way downtown and it's maxed out. So we'll probably add another one on. Uh, Bathurst and Industry. Holy cow, we have so many buses. This is crazy. It's taking up way more time than I was expecting it to. Uh, I'll stop talk, kind of talking them through. Let's take two off of that. 
I've already looked at this one, but I need to check it again. Uh, okay, that's probably fine. Right down to the bottom. Uh, this is the bus that connects the farm with the main city. Uh, looks like we need to add a couple more. Oh my god, this bus line. <laughs> um, Alright, Packingham to north-south. This bus has been kind of taken over by a tram lately, so I think we can bump this down to 8. All the way back to the bottom. Uh, Lake Loop 1, so we've already looked at Lake Loop 2. Uh, that is three buses. I think we can add a fourth onto this bus line. All right, and McQueen line. This one goes all the way down Steve McQueen Boulevard uh, and connects with the downtown trams. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just kind of, it could probably be deleted in all honesty, but looks like people like using it. So I think we'll add a seventh bus onto it, onto there. Uh, Strathcona Lake line. Oh, we've already looked at this one. All right, uh, one more bus we're gonna check is that ferry downtown connection bus again, because people are still using it a lot. This will just be temporary, and then that downtown loop two line had like a thousand people using a, a bus stop. Yeah, so that should definitely have been a tram a long time ago. So yeah, holy cow, they're going everywhere, first of all, which is great to see. But we need to get them to connecting lines. Bit better than a bus. Um, all right, so that was today's episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let's think of a cool little thing that we did today. Well, we did the streetcars, but it was more of a transit review, not the streetcars, uh, the blimps and stuff. So we can get a nice, cool view of the city for the uh, screenshot. So, hope you have a great day, everyone. Talk to you soon. Peace out.